Challenger top lane, Challenger jungle, Meet my friend Daisy. Challenger mid, Challenger bot, Welcome to the League of Draven. Challenger support, Challenger in North America, Challenger in EU West, an alleged chess prodigy, CEO of a thriving pool service and repair company, a scientific anomaly the likes of which has never been seen before. These are the many titles of one person, the man who is truly just built different. Tyler One. <laughs> Tyler started his league career when he was still in university and was famously banned for his solo queue behavior. I was banned from League of Legends permanently, forever. No coming back, uh, you know. How do I feel about that? Meh. I saw it coming, dude. I saw it coming. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I saw it coming. If if you guys knew everything I did, <laughs> oof. Mm. They were they were nice to me on that uh, post. Let me tell you. The people demanded his freedom, and his freedom was granted. I'm sure everybody here has heard the news. Yeah. <clears throat> T1 has been unbanned. From League of Legends. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys have probably, probably heard the news by now. After 613 days, I can finally, finally play League of Legends without getting my accounts banned. Now, you guys are probably wondering, Tyler, dude, it has been three months. What? Riot actually begged me to come back. It was kind of sad. I, I actually felt bad for them. In 2018, he would hit Challenger for the first time playing AD Carry. Let's go! There it is, baby! Gimme that shit, boys! Gimme that plus 21! That's 392, bitch! That is Challenger tier! That right there is Challenger! What's up, guys? Hey, come here, come here. Hey, boys, you, you're watching a Challenger streamer. How's it feel? How did you do it? So you're asking me how I climbed from 0p Diamond 5, 46% win rate in 15 days to Challenger? Is that what you're asking me? Because I'm a fucking god. That's how I did it. He didn't know it at the time, but this would be the first of many. Like I said, I'm not one of those degenerates who's like, oh, yes, Challenger account. Let's make a new account. Oh, five Challenger accounts. Ooh, cool. No, Okay, you get one Challenger account. Who cares if you can do it again? In 2019, Tyler started a challenge, and his message was very clear. So, we are doing an unranked to challenger jungle only. The role is easy, and I am here to prove it. Period. End of discussion. Dude, jungle is the best role with the worst players. Period. End of discussion. It is what it is. You are delusional. Delu- Okay, so you're literally saying I will not get Diamond. Do you realize how easy Diamond is? Having never seriously played the role before, Tyler started jungling. And did he ever jungle? You don't watch some videos in queue or something. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Let me show you how fucking broken this role is. Watch this. No skill. Watch this. No skill. I'm going to do red buff and go straight top. Watch this. He died. Look how absolutely pissant this role is. Hello? Flash Ignite! Ah! Alright, I gotta play for myself. Alright, it's doomed. Never mind. I'll, I'll just do it myself. Never mind. Fuck it. Tyler won hit Diamond after 192 games, 71% win rate on Lee Sin, and 62% win rate on Kindred. Tyler introduced Olaf into his champion pool and achieved Master Rank after 419 games. Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Ah! <laughs> ah! Where's it at? I said it's the easiest fucking rule! Three weeks ago, why I fucking-
fucking say! What I say! I'll show you how easy your role is! I will show you! And in, what, three we about three weeks of playtime? Four weeks of playtime? I get Master Tier! I get Master Tier! Put the money in my mouth! Your role is easy! I'm, I, I made it to Masters! I still don't kite camps! I do not kite camps! And I made it to Master! I sit there like a fucking brute! And fucking hit him! It's that easy! I don't know matchups! It's the best role in the goddamn game, period! And it's not even close! Boasting a 66% win rate on Olaf, nothing could stand in his way. Challenger was surely close, right? Tyler began to struggle. Playing jungle on stream with thousands of people watching is a recipe for stream sniping. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. I'm being ghosted so fucking hard. Eventually, Tyler would decide to stop streaming until he reached Jungle Challenger due to the amount of ghosting and sniping in his games. Just over a month later, with a grand total of 1,807 games, he did the unthinkable and collected the second Infinity Stone. I did in fact, I mean I'm not trying to, I am not trying to brag. I am a, T1 is a humble man. I would never ever in my life brag about anything. I'm down to earth. However, gentlemen, lads, ladies, gals, you are looking at right now a challenger, challenger, jungle. Thank you. He was finally able to achieve this by swapping his playstyle. You guys want to hear how me and him came to be? It was insane. It's motivation. Listen, so very last stream, I played Ivor, and I was like, wow, this dude's really chill. I don't tell. You fucking, you fucking, bi dude, you fucking big dick. Walks around, look at that, just like that. I don't give a fuck, walks around the fucking jungle. So you know what, let's play. He chose to fill a supportive role within his team, often playing with low CS numbers. He focused on protecting his laners, getting them a lead, and sacrificing his own strength to back up his team. On Ivern, gold doesn't mean as much because he's more of a utility-based champion. No, listen, every single Ivern YouTube video I watched, I read Ivern's lore, read it like a book it's actually pretty interesting he he used to be a like cruel soldier i'll we'll talk about that in a second i lose nine ivory games in a row d20 lp did i give up no i fucking reeked to another one lost 13 of 14 we keep playing it we keep playing it boom we're one game away from challenger who the fuck do we lock in ivory i love him i love him dude he rescued daisy you should re-up on the lore, and it actually immerses you. Tyler was ready to set his sights on a new goal, Challenger top lane. We are starting top lane today! Yes! Yeah. Yep, unranked the Challenger top lane starts today! After only 117 wins and 83 losses, Tyler hit Diamond 4 in top lane. It took him only 8 games more than his jungle climb. Let me see it! Let me see it! Let's fucking go! The climb would continue, with Tyler making his way toward Masters. It was not going fast, with him playing hundreds and hundreds of games, never actually hitting Masters. Fast forward to the last day of the season. Tyler did not have enough time to hit Challenger, but that didn't stop him from trying to hit Masters before the season reset. 22 and 3! The hardest time to play ranked? Of the season! Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Joe Gap in the fucking top lane, right? With that, Tyler had hit Masters. He still had a very long way to go to hit Challenger top lane. He continued to grind throughout the preseason and well into the next season. The grind was not easy. Tyler would play a grand total of 3,800 games across two seasons and one preseason, 
leading up to a stream where he had 80,000 people watching him as he would cross the challenger cutoff. That's Challenger. Dude, just picture in your head. Fucking sweet, sweet victory. Yeah. I'm a problem. I'm a problem. I'm a problem. Period. I'm a fucking problem. The full climb took over nine months. Yes, almost a year for this one challenge. One of the most notable things about this part of the challenge is that Tyler fully embraced his title as the best weak side top laner. I'll play weak side till the day I die! Some other ridiculous stats from the top challenge include that on three separate days, he played 25 games in a single day. He also lost 18 games of those 25 in one single day. The man is genuinely built different. With three roles now a challenger, he quickly set his sights on the next goal. All right, so we're doing Challenger, bro. I'm not going to lie. Chal by the time we're there, Challenger is going to be 800 LP. And we have, I believe, three, four months. I'm going to be honest. Uh, it's going to be pretty hard to get it before this year. I'm a fucking freak for sure. So it is possible. There's no way I get Challenger three rolls and you doubt the fourth roll. This. What are my champs? Let's start from the top. Is Ari, mm, Akali, maybe, Anivia, no. An like, Annie's viable. That's pretty pock champ. It only took him 291 games to hit Masters in mid lane. Way faster than his 419 games in jungle or his 824 in top lane. Master tier already, by the way. Already. See what I'm doing? Speed running it, bro. I don't even care anymore. I still got to finish. Dude, I'm going to finish mid. And honest to God, I'm going to finish fucking support challenge as well. This season, by the way. This season. The climb to challenger mid lane was a short one. With just under 700 games, Tyler had conquered yet another role. This game's over. It's done, bro. Hey, it's done. Mid's done. Mid's done, bro. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's over. It's done. It's finished. Give me the yell a bit, bro. You want some screaming? Ha! Mid diff. It's the mammoth man. You guys are gone. I'm at 775. Oh, I'm chilling. I got it comfortably. Comfortably. Comfortably, Challenger. Comfortably. Mm, that was easy. I mean, what, bro? What up, dude? Like, what? Give me, like, get hype and get excited. Bro, it feels like I just started. I don't know. This was so easy. With a 64% win rate on Annie and a 73% win rate on Irelia, Tyler had a lot to say to the mid lane community. I'm expressing how I feel right now. It was easy as hell. A little underwhelming how easy mid lane is compared to everything else. Bro, mid lane is so Mickey Mouse cupcake compared to top lane. It's crazy. It's so crazy. There's no wave management. If, there, if nobody ever manages waves or freeze waves compared to top, and if they do, all you do is clear vision, walk bot, gank bot, gank top. I will say this, though. I will say this. I will say this. Support is fucking dis... We learned from this that support is fucking disgustingly broken. I was more worried about support during this challenge than enemy jungle. His play style in mid revolved heavily around roaming, 
specifically playing around his jungler. He often had lower CS numbers, but instead had a large impact on the map overall. There was only one role left, and Tyler had a point to prove. Some people thought that the support climb would be the easiest he had ever done. Others seemed to think that it would be the most difficult. Dude, let me say this. I've been told ta for, I've been told for, since I started this damn challenge. Tyler, Tyler, you're gonna get stuck in silver. Tyler, silver 80 carries are so bad. You don't understand, bro, it's not my fault I can't climb. No, dude, my support, my 80 carry was so bad. Kids, you're trash at the game. Support is easily the most broken role ever. It's been for years. I might too weak this challenge. I'm not gonna lie. Call me, call me T1 too weak. With only one stone left to complete the set, Tyler started the support speedrun. Uh, I mean challenge. Now, that's over with. Apologies. In case you missed it, we are starting support to challenger today. Hey, let me make, let me, I'm gonna say this, first of all. We are one roll away from five roll challenger. I'm at the top of the food chain of everything I do. And I'm going to prove it. After I get this, my prediction, this challenger is going to be easy as hell. Now, there's not much to say about the low elo games because there weren't many of them. Your ass over here, and that's first blood. Oh, support is so hard. Oh, this is so easy. This is so stupid. Wow. Oh. Guys, <laughs> sup, sup. Yeah. Woo! After 58 games, only three days into the support challenge, Tyler hit diamond, playing a very wide range of champs. A week and a half into the challenge, he had already achieved masters, playing mostly Nautilus, Karma, Rakan, and Pike. There it is. There it is. Cookie Monster 1, 2, 3. Master tier. Week and a half. Speed running the support challenge. Easy, bro. It's so easy. I've been autopiloting. I tried it once, but dude, this is kind of boring. We're already master tier. Master tier what? 130 games? Yeah. A new role. I'm not even fucking playing. Like, dude, I'm playing everything. Enchanters, fucking Frontline, Rakan, Karma, Organa. It's, dude, it's so easy. It's so easy. A few days later, Grandmaster in 200 games. <laughs> support, guys, I swear to God, support is so hard. It's really the hardest rule in the game. I swear, bro. I mean, I've been, guys, I'm, trust me, I'm 5,000. Oh, wait a minute. I'm two weeks in. Wait a minute. I'm like 200 games in. Playing with new champs I've never played before, the easiest champs in the game on pure autopilot. Tyler's gameplay involved a lot of roaming, especially if his AD was behind or losing lane. On Nautilus, he would look to dominate lane by making a catch and going all in, whereas on Karma, he would suffocate the enemy by forcing priority and poking them down. At 443 games, he finally completed his challenge. Focus up! Focus up! Focus up! Focus up! I think they're open! I think they're open! It is done!
It's over. I have officially have gotten Challenger on every single fucking roll. We started with Jungle. It took us 2,000 fucking games. 3,000 almost. Top lane, about the same. Mid, 900. Support was this officially, what is this? 443 games. And I've been 80 carry charter my entire goddamn fucking life, bro. And it's done. Officially done. I am a fucking problem! Oh, five challenger accounts. Ooh, cool. No, okay. You get one challenger account, who cares if you can do it again? Tyler had a lot to say about the people who doubted him, and some very strong opinions on the balancing of the different roles in the game. We started jungle. They laughed at us, dude. They laughed. Ha! Look at him. Ha! You can't do it. Ha! Ha! The, the fucking kids that laughed at us, bro, have quit league. <laughs> None of them even play anymore, bro. They couldn't take it. They couldn't take it, bro. I've played 50,000 games since then. We're not the same. All the rules, I would, here's, here, here's how I'd rank them. Support is the easiest rule. Dude, I brain off autopiloted almost all of support. Like, I'm not even kidding. Almost all of support. And it took me 500 games. My brain was off. Before I played support, I said all support players suck. The ones that just suck a little less climb. It's true. Top jungle, probably the hardest. Top's the hardest. If you do not play meta top lane, it sucks. Because mid lane's easy. To be honest, um, AD carry, I think AD carry can be frustrating to play if you get sub gap. So, yeah, I don't know. I put jungles up. The jungle's hard to learn because it's different, but it also relies on your teammate. Compared to top and jungle, dude, mid and, mid and support were just like, oh, it's over. Oh, it's done already. Okay. True. I, I, I almost forgot. Officially a five-role challenger player, Tyler1 would cement himself as the face of League of Legends itself. To congratulate him, Riot updated their official account to have his face on it, and also sent him a package to open on stream. Here's what, I, what I'm assuming's inside, bro. A check for five billion dollars, a contract to run Riot Games, a statue um, showing my just sheer size and swagger, Look, it's like uh, five challenger icons. I kind of like it. I kind of like it, dude. I like it. It's special. It's unique. You know what? I'll say thank you, Riot. That's the day. You better, Riot Games, you better fucking clip this. You better save it because I will not say it again ever in my life. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. But... I am the goddamn greatest of all time. So, again, hey. I mean, I deserve this, to be honest. For this challenge, Tyler played over 7,300 games in a three-year period. Not only that, he actually reached top 50 on the NA leaderboard after finishing his support climb. The total amount of games for each challenge were 3,800 games for top challenge, 1,807 games for jungle, 700 games for mid, 694 games for AD carry, and 443 games for support. With his point proven, he could finally stop playing League. Right? He would announce that conquering NA was not enough, and he was heading to Europe. I want everybody to know that when I'm in their game, we're speaking fucking freedom, baby. US of A, motherfuckers. Who's with me? Who's fucking with me, baby? And now, the fucking show begins! This cloud, cloud region, by the way, bro. God damn. I'm not even kidding when I say this. EU 300 LP is in a D1 max. Maximum, bro. Absolute garbage, man. I'm not kidding, man. Easy Masters. What is this, day five Masters? This is a fucking speed run, baby. Let's just say after one month, he decided to extend his trip. Tyler once again would decide to stop streaming and continue his solo queue grind offline. Man. Anyway, 
Anyway, in case you missed it, we went 9 and 16 yesterday. Yeah, it was a really good day, as you can tell. That guy can snipe me 10 times, do that shit, dumb fucking play, play style 10 times and not get banned. I shouldn't have to beg that guy for that guy to get banned and manually report and type, etc, etc. Tyler had a flight book to leave Europe and was grinding right up until the deadline. He achieved Challenger on the day his flight was booked to leave after 820 games played. In the last five days there, he went from Masters to Challenger. What it does do! We is are be back at it, but ha yet, ha again! Sup sup! Somebody sup sup! Back in the greatest goddamn fucking country on the planet! In case you missed it, we did get Challenger on EU West, so I had my flight booked on the, like, 27th or something? So I literally got Challenger, and as as I was promoting, I was on the flight home. This happens in every Challenge 2. Bro, every time I'm about to get Challenger, people always play to try and kick me out. Anyway, so this, so we were like fucking 500 LP for, I think, three weeks of the Challenge. And then we were like GM to Challenger in like three days with a 70% win rate. So easy, actually. All these games are so easy. Bro, EUS is so easy. You just don't die. They will start running it down every single game. So if, if you're not the person that runs it down, somebody else will. These guys cannot play from behind. So it's pretty much like four easy steps to climb. Don't tight. Ward Raptors, level one. Do dragons. Don't die. Easy climb, no matter what. Easy climb. The account sharing, the boosting, I really didn't run into any of that. Bro, no, if I'm, it, it's true, man. It's true. They, like, it's so crazy how bad NA solo queue is just because of all that. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Bro, as I'm saying, like, these guys think they got it bad in the U.S. You don't got it bad at all. Oh, my God. Come play on NA with, with, what, with what, what's going on over here on this server. Like, you guys understand how hard I was sweating. Get this. Get this. So I was doing, like, pre-game rituals every single day. Bro, I drank Blood Rush out of the same cup for, like, 12 days straight. Guys, get this. Seriously, I was, like, doing, I was, like, doing rituals. Guys, I took one shower in two weeks. No, I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. I was full about it. Same clothes, two weeks. Yes, I had the same outfit on every single day. <laughs> I'm not even lying. On the car ride, I was like, explaining what happened. I was like, yeah, I got it, bro. Then, then I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to grief these sons. Of I'm going to ultimate bravery every game on 200 ping from NA and tank the fucking account. He was like, Tyler, should you really do that? That's kind of spiteful. <laughs> I said, spiteful? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Spiteful? You're goddamn right. It's fucking spiteful. Grieve every game I'm on. Oh, that's fine. Because now I have 1,025 LP worth of games to ruin. Like I said, we'll be sitting that account. I'm just saying it is what it is. You might want to ban it preemptively, guys. You might think that having played every single role of Challenger and also reaching Challenger on multiple servers would be enough for someone to move on and finally quit League. Well, to this day, Tyler spends his time terrorizing the Rift for better or for worse. Tyler also recently announced his next challenge, fatherhood. Me and Michaela are having a baby! Woo! And then finally, boom. Yes, we are having a baby. A little baby girl. I'm a young 20, but it's time. We're so excited. So excited. Yes, dude. My, ch my children will not know anything League of Legends related, by the way. Stop it. This game, <laughs> they're not going to know anything about this game. She is going to be a bit of a problem. That's all I got to say. She's going to be a big, of, a bit of a problem. Please do not be like your mother. Please. No offense to Kayla. Love Kayla to death, but please, bro. I cannot take two Kaylas running around the house. Seriously. Seriously. Please. Please, bro. I can't do it. Oh, that's all I've been thinking about. Oh my god. Imagine Kayla, but two. Thanks for watching, and let me know what you would consider finishing League to mean down below. Like I said, I'm not one of those degenerates who's like, oh yes, Challenger account. Let's make a new account. Oh, five Challenger accounts. Ooh, cool. No, Okay, you get one Challenger account. Who cares if you can do it again? 